What's going on, everybody? Well, about 3 p.m. I get a message, and I didn't know to take it as true or just one of those uh, gossip rumors somebody puts out there. It was basically at Major League Baseball um, was given Fanatics the uh, trading card license and Tops was out. And for about the past 40 minutes, I've been looking, Wall Street Journal's hit it and everything, and so I'm taking it as fact. I don't know what to think of this. I wasn't planning on doing a video because I got stuff to get done tonight before I take out and uh, go grab my mom and bring her back to Kentucky. But I wanted to see what a lot of people's opinion on this is because we I was hit hard uh, when Upper Deck lost their license with basketball because most people know I was collected Jordan. Still kind of do, but it's just way out of my price range anymore. And the stuff I do have, I just really don't want to sell. So I'm just one of those things where, okay, maybe I can upgrade Clemente or Nolan Ryan, whatever it may be. Tops, I remember when they lost their football licensing and everybody was just, you know, last year just slamming, uh, trying to get, it was what, Mariota and um, Winston's last year, I uh, rookie year, I believe, if I recall right. I, I, I am like really speechless on this because the offer that Fanatics made Major League Baseball, they gave it to Tops and said, if you match this, we'll give you your license back. Tops said no. So I don't understand where the union deal comes into play at. I'm sure somebody else out there may because I don't really follow all that stuff. The union deal, I know, doesn't start before 2023, and the Major League Baseball deal won't start till 2026. From my understanding, Top still has five more years of producing cards. Five. I believe it ends in 2026. So for everybody that's, you know, real huge in Tops, and they had some affordable products each year come out that were under the $100 box range, um, I don't know what that means if people are going to get out. I just had a long talk with uh, one of my reps, and... You know, my question is, Tops takes the baseball card market away, and now we got Fanatics. How do you gain Fanatics allocation if Fanatics is actually going to push it out to distributors? Because here's the catch. Fanatics, when they did their exclusive sets with Panini for, was it like Prism, Optic, and something else? It was all sold through their website. So if Fanatics says, we're not going to push this stuff out and give like, David Adams, the GTS, Layton, Southern Peach, etc. A blowout allocation, and they're just going to sell it all from their website. That changes the game. I don't know what will come of this. I, I just I'm still in shock over the whole thing. Really, um, wow. I mean, honestly, my thoughts are this: that when Tops loses their baseball license. Even if they produce a baseball card without the Major League Baseball uniform, kind of like Panini does, are people still going to buy it? Or is it going to be shunned like Panini if they do that? I, I, I don't know. That brings up a lot of questions. Then it also brings up how upper deck stuff gradually went up over time. People started buying out the product and holding it. And, of course, during the surge, everything went crazy high upper deck. Are people going to start holding their Topps products that they have hiding too? But I'll pull this up on the screen just to show you guys. This is the uh, Wall Street Journal one. And uh, let me blow it up just a little bit here for everybody, maybe. All right, there we go. But when you look at this, uh, I'm not subscribed to it, so you only get the first paragraphs on to it I, I just I don't know really what to say I'm by have eight and a half hours eight hour drive tomorrow to really think about this was on the action thing and this is where it comes down and says oh yeah tops is only gonna have soccer after this WWE and certain other products that they still produce on the side I mean, kind of like how Upper Deck just went straight to hockey, mostly, and some Marvel and stuff like that. I know I read somewhere on one of these that they still had five years left. Uh, 
And I, my other thing is that Mudra Capital, what does that mean? Because they were going to take tops public. I mean, th that's going to be huge with everything that goes on now next week. It even says that they were supposed to vote on that next year or next week. Oh, here it is. While Tops will have five seasons left on its Major League Baseball deal, losing a license in the future automatically makes it a shell of its former self. In a way, it does. It does. Well, I'm not going to make this very lengthy, everybody. Um, I'm curious what everybody's thoughts are on to this. If you were just a strictly baseball card, you didn't really get in other sports, what, are you going to stop if one tops is done in five years where you give Fanatics a chance? I mean, I want to see, see some uh, comments on to it just to see where the majority of everybody's fallen into play because I could tell you a couple people that I talked to were, in, were, were like, I'm done if Topps is done in five years. I'm done. Even if they still produce cards without the major league teams and uniforms and all that stuff, they said they're done. And I was like, wow. And I mean, they've been diehard collectors since some of them, you know, in the 60s, 70s, some in the 80s, some early 90s. But I'm just trying to get a grasp because I know we have a big variety of ages in here, what that means for everybody else. Because I know Panini took a while to catch on after Upper Deck and Topps lost their licensing. I don't think it really started getting a push till 17, 18 basketball. And then it started picking a little more steam, a little bit more steam in 18, 19 with Luca's rookie year and stuff like that. And then it just grew as the hobby grew itself. But let me know what you guys think offhand. Curious as always in the comments. Um, I'll check them out when I get back here uh, on Saturday. And see what everybody's thinking on to this whole situation. Maybe more will develop between now and then, too. Hi there, Nat. See you all live for uh, Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Talk to y'all later.